Hello everybody, welcome to another Loop Hero video. Uh, we are getting back into it. We haven't really played it in a while, so um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to kind of remember what we were doing. So I remember we just built the river. Yes, we were gonna try to build the bridge next, which takes uh, 15 more of uh, the metamorphosis, or ah, crap, what are they called? It's not metamorphosis. It's something else. I don't have any, so can't remember the name. It doesn't tell you on here. Oh well, let's go figure out what the uh, what the river card does. I guess we'll try it on. We'll go chapter two because we beat the boss on chapter three, uh, three times. I think you beat them three times and then they're just done for. Uh, but we want to be fighting big groups of enemies. And now we can try the river card. Doubles the effects of adjacent landscape tiles. Um, so I'm guessing these are... Wait. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Landscape tiles are like the all of these ones. So that's perfect. I wonder... It must make something spawn after a while, though. So now we'll be able to um, upgrade like our attack speed, our base HP, and then we can lower every creature's HP by 0.5. Um, I think I'm good with what I got right now though. Well, hmm. Yeah, th these are good against the skeletons. Or whenever we have the, uh, the skeletons as the, as the necromancer is what I mean. Um, I think that these could be good too, but the enemies that they spawn kind of scare me. And this just gives us base HP, which is nice, but I'd rather draw other stuff. So I think we're good right here. I think we're good with what we got. Um... Do I have the right equipment set? This is not equipment. Derp. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Supply for two. Oh yeah, it's different. So what is this? Plus one to max number of potions. That's really OP. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna copy what I did in one last time because uh, I trust that I knew what I was doing last time I was playing this game. So what is this? Candlestick. Mirror, silver pennant. Candlestick. Ah. Mirror. Oh yeah, the garlic. That helps us fight vampires. Uh, what do these do? Raises the chance of finding a rare item by 10%. That's excellent. Uh, what are they called? Magnifying glass? Jeweler's Lens. Plus 1% of max HP healed from potions. You can see where that... Yeah, that would actually be really, really good. All right. <laughs> That's literally what I have equipped. Okay. What are these? Attackers receive one damage after every hit. I think I'm going to equip this instead of something else. This is the Storm Temple Lightning. That's vampires. Hero's damage is increased by 5% when he's within the range of a road lantern or beacon. Sorry, road lantern or beacon. I think I'm going to take one of the garlics away and use um, this. Time the hero reaches stable receive stable branches he has a 10 percent chance of receiving more Nah, that's not good five percent chance to receive one ration while passing through a wheat field three percent of the hero's damage becomes damage to all that sounds pretty good i think i'm just gonna chill with what i got though i think i got a pretty good uh good setup going Alright, uh, let's do it and 
chapter two. We got all our cards set. We're playing the Necromancer. Let's get it. So we put my crypt up top so that I uh, have another life. If I die, I'll respawn. Cool, we got a blood grove already. I guess I need to decide where I'm going to be doing a lot of my combat. It seems like right here would be perfect. Put the blood grove right there. That means I need to put forests in line with this because that's where the storm temple is going to burn them. Easy kill on the slime. Nice. Okay, we got the grove already. We get to put the blood grove down. And then thickets we do not want to burn. So I'll put them not in line with that. Ah, crap. I might burn that spot too, though. I don't know. Oh, you can only put these on the outside. I didn't realize that. Oh, never mind. Uh, so this heals me three HP at the start of each day instead of two. I feel like it shouldn't it be four? That's weird. Ah, uh, whatever. It's thicket, not a landscape tile. I'm a little confused. Alright, it seems like you can only attach river cards to each other, so we'll have to lead it around the map like that. We'll put this one here, so it hits the most of the road. Better items, nice. Alright. Yeah, so I really like playing the Necromancer on here, just because uh, he spawns those little skeletons and they help out quite a bit. So yeah, see, this heals 2 HP at the start of each day, just as a regular meadow. When you make it a blooming meadow, 3 HP at the start of each day. So, this isn't doing anything for, for the landscape tiles. I guess these aren't landscape tiles? I don't really know what are. Maybe the well, no, it wouldn't make sense if they were these, because these are, um, like, the river's way over here. But yeah, I don't get it. That's the same, so it don't matter. Um, maybe forest? Yeah, it's just chilling. Chilling like a villain, doing the same crap. What the frick? Nice, we got four potions, and they heal us for a little extra, so that's kind of OP. Um, I think that's better than having defense, especially at the start. I have an idea with the river. Nice, so the Blood Grove lets us kill them at 15% less, or if they have 15% HP left. So it kind of executes them at the end. Also, Scar, what's up? Thank you so much for the follow. How's it going? Uh, I don't really want this evasion. Even though it's a higher level ring, I don't care for the evasion, because I'm not really taking damage anyways. So what ifs? Is that going well? Heck yeah. I'm glad things are going well. What did, uh, what'd you do today? I did some DoorDash deliveries myself, but, um, not a whole ton. I woke up kind of late, so I didn't get to do as many as I would like. unfortunate because today was uh today was friday so that's like the big money making day for the deliveries 
I guess I'll just keep stacking my meadows up here. Um, all right, awesome. So we go village and do the vampire mansion in front of it. Makes it a ransacked village. Now we can fight that big group of enemies for that special resource that I need. Yeah, I was a little hungover, so I didn't get much done. Oof, feels bad. I, it's no fun being hungover. Oh no, don't become looming meadows if you put meadows next. Ripperoni, okay. I'm gonna put another blood growth here. So now all of the spaces that I'm gonna be fighting in will have blood groves. That'll be excellent. Pick it. Percent hero attack speed. Uh, I guess I'll just put another grove at the. I'll put one at the start here. Meadow. Well, um, other than today, what have you been doing? What have you been up to, like, you know, throughout the week and stuff like that? All right, here's a fake village that you found. Okay. Okay, so I think I need to lead the river over to here. I think once I get it over here, then it can double the effects of this stuff. We'll try it, because I don't know. <laughs> Just visiting family, really. Okay, nice. Yeah, for like Christmas and stuff, I bet. I had a, a pretty good Christmas. It was um, it was pretty good. We got got to open presents and stuff with my fam. Good times. I got a oh, oh yeah, I got a stream deck for uh, for the Crim Cram. It was pretty 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 cool. There we go. I made the stand fall apart. But uh, yeah, now I can like play different sounds on the uh on the game whenever i want or on the stream whenever i want i should say it's uh it's pretty fun all right here's that big fight i was talking about oh god oh no oh, okay i might die i died wow i died early holy crap at least I have a resurrect, but I might die still. No, I'm good. Dang. Wow. Okay, I might as well do that. And I guess I'll chill on the ransacked villages for a second. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I wonder what happens if I put one of these in front of me. One of the fake villages. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Could be okay in this fight. Nice, and we got a level up. Okay, things may not be as bad as they seem. But I, I think even if I lose all, the, all of this stuff, it doesn't really matter. I don't have anything great yet. Okay, so now, uh, since we leveled up, we get to level up the Necromancer and give him a new trait. Uh, we don't want the Oblivion cards yet. Grants the hero plus one resurrection with full healing. I might do that just because I lost my resurrect. Uh, or each allied skeleton heals the hero for three times the loop HP when it dies. I'm going to go with the resurrect just because I lost it so early. This... Um, Ancestral Crypt gave me a, uh, the ability to resurrect, and yeah, after I died, I lost that, so no good, no good. Uh, okay, forest. <laughs> this game takes a, a little while sometimes because I just have to go through all these cards. And I have it set to uh, like four times speed. Um, da, 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 meadow. Throw a spider cocoon up here, just so I have other fights other than these giant ones. 
Holy crap. That's a flesh column. Okay, we're good. Yes! Oh, let's go. Alright, this... This run just changed quite a lot. We just got so much stuff. Um... Thinking this one will be better, but I'll save that one. And then these rings are just... Oh, they're not rings. They're amulet. Defense evasion skeleton level or defense attack speed. I'll just go with this one. They're both really good, so I don't know. Then uh, I'll just throw this vampire mansion here. I guess it doesn't do anything to that. So rip a roni. And we got a thicket. All right. Let's keep on going. Those are not better for sure. Oh, well, the ring. Ooh. This one's way better. Back speed, evasion, defense. Yeah, I'll take it over. Okay. Nice, we got two potions back, so we've got a we got a lot to fall back on now. And finally we got our storm temple. So if we put the storm temple right here. Wish I could put it here. Then we'll burn all these forests down. Make them give us pure damage instead of uh attack speed. And then all these spots can get smited by the um, electricity that comes from the storm temple. We're bringing the river down slowly but surely. All right, this is the moment of truth coming up. I might die, but I might. So we'll see. Like this whole area is the moment of truth, is what I mean. <laughs> not just that one spot. Uh, that's not better. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh yeah, river. Yep. Okay, I think we're fine here. Nice. We still got our two potions. And we got another storm temple, heck yeah. So... Mm, I think... I'm gonna make this section like that as well. So like just put this here to make storm temples there. Or to, you know, to make those uh, lightning on those spots. And then I'll burn the rest of these forests on the sides of each. I don't want to burn the thickets though, because the thickets give you a bunch of attack speed. The forests just give you a little bit. Whenever they burn, they become the same thing. So. Yeah, um, <laughs> Star, have you heard of this game? I don't remember if I've um, played this with you in the in the chat or not. Oh no. Okay, so the river thing's not gonna work. I really don't understand how rivers work then. I just won't use them anymore. I don't want to take up uh, free real estate, you know? Beak on, we'll put the beak on right here. Yeah. yeah. And then I want to put um, enemy spaces on both sides of them. That would be a very good idea. Got a meadow. I'll just keep lining the meadows up with the rough ticket. Scary fight, scary fight. Okay, though. Nice. Okay. Wow. Look at all these rivers. <laughs> Wish I knew what to do with them. Close from who knows where to somewhere else. This makes it perhaps the only thing in this world that has an end. Double the effects of recent landscape tiles. I just I don't know what the landscape tiles are. Okay. Um, oh yeah, we'll put a grove space here, and I think we're good. Ah. Uh, we might. Oh, we're fine. We're fine, it's fine. 
we still got potions. And they're getting zapped. Nice. Yes, the zapping worked in our favor, favor this time. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Is this better? More defense. Same attack speed, but I don't get evasion. It's better. I think having more defense is better than having a hell dodgeroni. Foresto, awesome. All right, these guys shouldn't be no problem, no problemo. Climb, also no problem. Hey, we got another storm temple. Could just do this. Double the effects. Is that a bad idea? <laughs> Let's try it. It. I hope it's not a bad idea. But, um, sounds fun. We'll try it. Uh, da, 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 da. Made it to the checkpoint. I think we're okay to keep going. Also, um, the ransack villages becomes counts. Um, counts land. After, uh, they've been there for, like, three weeks, I think. Nice, another beacon. Uh, we'll do the beacon right... Yeah, just so it gets the rest of, um, well, crap, I guess it was the basis I needed basis. Ah, whatever. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. Okay, uh, 2% chance to get a whole resource sphere instead of a chunk. Uh, each allied skeleton heals the hero for three times the loot, or... Laying down one's life, any direct damage to the hero will be evenly split between him and his skeleton. I think that's a good idea because I might get zapped a bunch. And we'll put this other grove on the other side of it. Nice. Zapping the spiders. All right, I'm gonna set this um, village down. I don't. Forest and a meadow. Heck yeah. Another village. Go ahead and put that one over here. Okay, the dog didn't bark like I thought he would. U.S. car, he... I think he's gone. Uh, I've been playing some, uh, loot. Um, going okay. I don't know what these rivers do. Does double the effects of adjacent land? I have no idea what that means, because none of these are being buffed up. Next to, like, the... I can't, it won't let me. It only lets me put it next to the river, and it won't let me go, like, next to any of the roads. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I figured that these were landscape spaces, because they just kind of land. <laughs> Whatever. Um, oh, come on. I'm gonna make this ransacked village. <laughs> This fight's pretty scary. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, we're good. We used all of our potions except for one. That was kind of sketch. Ooh, we got a bigger shield. 
Less evasion, though. But like I was saying, bigger defense better than bigger evasion. What? Are you looking at these guys? Oh. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool. But, uh... Hey, ransacking the other village. Let's... We'll put the spiders over here because I get help on these two spaces. And uh, we'll just pray to Jesus because we're pretty low. But we do have another resurrect because I one of my abilities. I level up ability things for that. But I guess we gotta pray to Zeus because we don't want the lightning to hit us. Please, Zeus. Don't hit us with lightning. Hit the flesh golem. Hit the... F no, it's hitting me. It hit me twice in a row. Are you kidding? This game hates me. Oh, hey, we got an orb of expansion, though. That's pretty good. Well, at least we got the resurrect. Got the resurrect, and we might have to end it here. But we did just get sick item. Ow. Wow, we pretty much double our uh, skeleton level there. That's crazy. This is what always happens. I'm like losing horribly, and then I kill a flesh golem, and then everything's great. I get a bunch of items. Flesh golems are just pinatas. Got all this wonderful stuff inside of them. Oh, Eve says it's because she's here. She's the good luck. Me. Hey. Um, one, oh, hmm, even more skeleton level? Yes, sir. Let's do it. A what? I do not have a ye button, but I need a ye button. I say ye, um, a lot. Ye. Hello! It says I have five viewers. I did not realize that. I figured I was just like streaming to nobody right now. I always turn my viewer count off because I don't want it to stress me out. But what? My girlfriend just told me. Amazing. Now the pressure's on though. Now I know. Hopefully I don't die here. Getting... I mean... I have really good items so I should be good. But now I don't have a resurrect to fall back on, so I'm kind of sketcheroni, you know? Keep the vampire mansion. Till uh, I get another village. Just chill with the. Well. Put the spider cocoon up here. If we can make big groups on these spaces, that'd be nice, because I get the little crossbowman guy to help me out. Another flesh golem killed. More goodies. Eh. I don't need to save those anymore. Eh. Huh? This one good? It's okay. I don't think I want to use it. Okay, meadow. And keep going. Nice breezing through the village. Now we got the ransacked village. Oh, uh, Zeus, please. Please stop. Stop zapping me. You're supposed to be working in my favor. Okay. Thank you. Man, <laughs> one bolt of lightning hit them and all the other bolts of lightning hit me. That's a... That's so stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's OP, but I mean, it's OP against me. Okay, thickets. Keep going round and round. Got a blood grove, but I don't know where to put it, really. Here, let's. I'm gonna get to the end here. Be about ending. Here's that crossbowman that helps me out, I was talking about. Okay. We're on loop six. 
we have really, really good items. They're like, if you have, if your items are the same level as your loop, then I think they're supposed to be like average, just based on what I've experienced in this game. And uh, yellow and orange are the rarest items. So I have good items. These large groups of enemies are scaring me. And apparently Zeus hates us because the reason I keep saying that is the storm temples, they strike two random targets in range within light with lightning every five seconds. Lightning cannot be evaded. Effects of multiple temples can stack. So I've got two here. And the reason I did that is because I spawn a bunch of skeletons and I'm fighting a bunch of guys. So the chances of it hitting me should be really low, but they're not. It keeps zapping me and it's bullcrap. <laughs> uh, now we got this grove, so we can uh, get this blood grove somewhere else. That'll cover those two spaces, make it a little bit easier. They make it so guys get executed at a lower HP than normal. How many orbs do I have? I have two. Is it worth saving? Let's risk it. Let's risk it for the biscuit. I never risk it for the biscuit, so... Let's do it. I got viewers. Let's entertain them. Okay, we're doing good so far. We haven't really gotten hurt yet. And we got a beacon. Awesome. Go ahead and put the beacon. That doesn't help very much. We'll put it here. So it helps out all these tiles. These give your uh, character movement speed. They give every, all of your units attack speed. And I have a little special item that I put on my character before that uh, makes beacons and other things give it him a uh, greater effect. It works easier, better on him. No. Oh yeah, I guess I have an oblivion. Aha! Oblivions destroy tiles. So, um, they're very helpful. Oh god, they're doing a lot of damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, crap. We might die here. We're probably gonna die here. Dang it. <laughs> this is what I get for risking it for the biscuit. Dang it. I shouldn't have done it. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Oh well. At least I get to keep one orb of expansion. So it's not that bad. I just lost, uh, you know, half of it. Oh well. Well, thank you get. Well, I'm doing an outro for YouTube. So if you're watching on Twitch, just know I'm going to be playing more. Um, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we did not too great this time around. Uh, we got a little unlucky with the Thunder God this time around, but um, it's okay. We will uh, we'll catch you next time in another video. But thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye bye.